Hi, my name's Steve Large. Firstly, I'd just like to thank everyone for the support, the love, um, the comments, the shares, the likes. You know, it's... Me personally, I've got a path. Um, it's a path and a purpose that I am driven to do what I do. You know, and it's... You know, it, it's not always so clear-cut for me either. I go through these processes. I look at my patterns in my mind, um, and they've been very destructive over the years. So I have a lot of clearing myself to do. So although I don't need external validation, it's always nice to get, if that makes sense. Um, today, I just want to talk a little bit about affirmations and positive affirmations. The way the subconscious mind works is it works on suggestion. So what we suggest to it, whether we're accepting that suggestion or not, is dependent on the source of the suggestion and our state of mind. So when we do positive affirmations, it's a suggestion that there's a negative possible. So if we say, you know, I am feeling great today, well, that's a suggestion that it's possible that you won't. You know, everything's going to be okay. That also implies that there's a suggestion that it won't. So for me personally, I no longer do affirmations in this way so much. For me, I create the feeling, the feeling of love. So I take deep breaths. I imagine the color green, a strong, vibrant green of nature and other things. And I breathe that into my center into my, my heart center, my uh, heart chakra, and I feel that grow. I don't try and make it grow. I just breathe in with that vision, that color, all the way in, and breathe out that color, and feel that energy, that love, that energy of God rise within me. I feel it in every part of my being. I feel it grow stronger, and stronger, and the stronger it feels, the better I feel. And with this, I don't need to convince myself everything's going to be okay. With this, I know everything is going to be okay. And this is the difference for me now on the practices I do with the things I've learned. Because this feeling, this connection with the unified field of the universe... This connection with consciousness and intelligence is all I need. Because with that knowing, I take away thinking. And with the thinking stopping, I'm no longer in body and mind. I'm connected to the universe. And I'm connected to God. Because God is the universe. It is one consciousness from my perspective and the way I know it to be. This starts with simple breathing techniques into your heart chakra. Just allow the feeling to grow. Feel the energy rise through your body in all parts of your body. Follow that breath in. Follow that breath out. And just feel that energy grow stronger and stronger. This is the practices I like to do. Especially in these times of uncertainty. You know, our minds are telling us these, these things. We tell ourselves the worst case scenario. You know, a lot of people are living in fear. And I've mentioned this before in other videos. But we have to understand that their fear is very real for them. And we have to accept that, you know, it's, it's a way they express. We have to show love in these times. We have to show compassion and understanding. Just because your perspective is one way and your morals and values and beliefs are one way, it doesn't mean that they have the same. They may never have been shown love. You have. You may come from a loving family, so this is your values of how love should be shown. They may have not. They may have come from an abusive family and never been shown love before. So for those of us who know how to express love, it's our duty to show others how to love too. If we just reflect their anger because they don't know how to show love, we're only compounding that anger is the way. And that everyone expresses the same way. So even in the face of anger and condemnation, we show love because we teach love 
if love is what we have in our hearts, it is our job, our duty, our responsibility to those without to show them how to love. And we can only do this by expression and feeling it truly in our heart and in our core and allowing that feeling to grow stronger and stronger. And we do this through breathing. We do this through our heart chakra and we allow it to grow stronger and stronger. And we show others through the form of joy and love we have for ourselves. We express this out so others can also experience this because we are the teachers of love. We don't go around hating regardless of the excuse, regardless of our beliefs and our values. Hate is never the answer. Love is the answer. Love is always the answer. Whatever we do, if we do it from our heart and with love, we can't go wrong. You can never go wrong with love. Love is the answer and the key. And in times like these, I know people are doing stuff and going out when they shouldn't. But is showing them hate and ganging up on them in these groups with mob mentality, is that going to change anything? Is that going to make them understand or want to comply and to help? No, it's going to make them dig their heels in. It's going to cause divide. Hate breeds hate. We need to show them love and compassion and speak to them from a point of information and knowledge and just explain, regardless of anything, if we don't do as we're being told right now, they will enforce it even more. So it's about showing each other compassion in these times, regardless of our own perspectives. We share each other's knowledge, we share each other's perspective, and that's communication. And with communication comes understanding and compassion and unity. And this is where love begins. Anyway, that's enough of me today. Love and light, stay strong out there. I'll keep doing these videos. Um, we don't lose hope. We stick together, we are one. And together we can get through anything. We, help, we always have in the past and we always will in the future. Be safe.